to 700 foot-pounds of force, virtually no feedback at hardly any sound. We'll try them out when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tour Reviews. These are the Lion Guns from High Torque. And High Torque is spelled H-Y-T-O-R-C. And Lion Guns not meaning in they're going to kill lions, but in lithium ion. And the Lion 0.25 and the Lion 0.70, the 0.25 is good for 250 foot-pounds, the 0.70 is good for 700 foot-pounds. Now they apply that amount of force to a fastener with virtually any feedback to your arms or hands, as well as they're quiet as a drill, maybe even a little quieter. Now they also have a lot more features than your typical impact wrench, torque wrench, or even your drill, because they actually have an LCD screen here in the back where you can actually cycle through and do different things as well as keep track of things. Now before I give too much away, let's go on over, let's actually use these and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about and then we'll come back and finish this up. These are the Lion Guns from High Torque. Now High Torque has been in precision bolting and the fastener industry or the tools for fastening industry for decades. Uh, and this is their cordless solution, if you will, for precision bolting. Now they don't even, they don't even call these a torque gun or a torque wrench or any type of, it's not an impact wrench for sure, but they call it a precision bolting system. They call this a precision bolting system. They call this a precision bolting system. Now the difference between these two are, this is the Lion 0.25 and this is the Lion 0.70. Uh, this has a maximum uh, foot-pound torque rating of 250 foot-pounds. This is max of 700 foot-pounds. Now, the cool thing about these is there's really no input to get the torque out of them. There's also no feedback. I say no, very little feedback is felt through your arm, wrist, hands, anything like that. And I'll show you here in just a moment. But basically, it uses a reactionary arm. And it doesn't even have to use that. But in this case, as you see on this one here, it has a reactionary arm on it where this actually kind of applies force against something for then uh, the socket to turn to tighten that fastener. So it does need something to counteract against to apply that force of 250, 700 foot pounds or whatever you set for it. Now, it's kind of like a drill. So when you take a drill here and you're applying force to it, Obviously, you need a, a strong auxiliary secondary handle to counteract that, counteract that force when you're putting, when you say you're drilling a, you know, a half inch size hole in steel. You really need to hold on to that auxiliary handle or you're going to get a heck of a twist in your wrist. Same thing with the Lion Gun. You have to use that reactionary arm unless you're using their other precision system which we'll get to in just a moment where you need no reactionary arm, there's no counteracting force against it, it's handling it all internal. Again, we'll come back to that. Now these are electronic. They're cordless, obviously. Lion, I'm sure, is short for lithium ion. Uh, and they are brushless tools as well. They run on a battery pack. I think these are four amp hour, 18 volt battery packs. And you'll see here on the back is an LCD screen. Now to turn it on, you just hit the middle button here. And then initially when you set this up, you can actually cycle through and put a date in here. And again, that's important for in just a moment. And I'll show you this. And then you can set a couple of things here, not just a torque rating, but up here it says angle of degrees. So you can say, hey, tighten to 200 foot pounds and then add 15 degrees of angle. And it will do that. It will set that torque as well as add 15 degrees of angle. Then once you do that, you'll notice that, well, that socket is really tensioned on that bolt. And especially if you have that reactionary arm. And so you've got all that force on that fastener, not letting you pull that socket off. Well, then you can add a release angle where it just relieves that socket. So I've got a release angle of five degrees. All that built right here into the tool. So then all you have to do, put this on the, on the fastener, hit the trigger and let it go. You can also set it up where down here on the bottom here, I have a job number. So you can set job numbers. And why is that important? Well, when you're looking at industries uh, like nuclear, um, you know, like uh, process piping, food, 
uh, food piping, things like that, you know, stainless steel fasteners or stainless steel piping where you have to torque each one of those fasteners and you need to validate that, you can do so right here in the torque wrench and then output all the data into a tablet or into your computer or what have you uh, just by plugging in a cord and dumping that into that. So it'll save it by job number and it will keep track of X number of fasteners that you've torqued to say 250 foot pounds or 180 foot pounds. So it keeps track of all this data right here inside the tool until you export it again into your computer. If you don't mind, let me jump in here real quick for a few seconds. If you like this video, will you give us a thumbs up? Also hit that like and subscribe button. Again, only if you like us. If you don't like the video, give us a thumbs down and let us know in the comments why. Back to the video. Now also, if you do get in a bind and you have that tension on the socket, there's a quick switch right here that you can flip up and that takes it into torque loosen. So that's gonna back that off if you need to. And then I can flip it back to forward and it goes back into the tightening mode. So there is a quick switch there with, that you can change the direction to be able to back out of those situations. Now let's go ahead and use these uh, with the reactionary arm and then we'll come back and show you how we can use it without any reactionary arm whatsoever in torquing uh, any fasteners to their yield. Okay, so as I mentioned, we have to use some sort of reactionary arm in order to you know, apply that force against something to be able to turn that socket without having that force be put back through your arms, wrists, and that sort of thing. Go ahead and turn my gun on here. And I'm gonna leave it on 250 foot-pounds. And then just the reactionary arm and slides on there and locks. Then I've got my socket. Now all these bolts are loose. So I'll pull the trigger, I've got the trigger pulled, and then I have to hit a button. It says, press any button to start operation. So you see it tightened all the way. My finger is still on the trigger, by the way. It tightened all the way to the torque rating, and then it backed off that five degrees. I'll go ahead and do this one, and I'll pull the trigger, hit the button. Still got my finger on the trigger, so it stopped and everything. Now, so also watch this. Watch that I've got one hand on this gun and it's applying 250 foot-pounds of force. There's not a lot of sound, there's not a lot of beating, uh, and uh, it's not any feedback into my hand. You'll see it barely twists, but I'm really not giving it any force whatsoever. So again, I'll pull the trigger. So I'm gonna try to just keep two fingers on this whole gun, and I'm gonna hit the button. So you see it rock the gun just a little bit without me having to counteract that at all. And with two fingers, I've still got it depressed. I was able to tighten that to 250 foot pounds. Do it one more time. So again, just a little bit of feedback on that and that's it. But with two fingers, I'm tightening to 250 foot pounds. And not only that, I'm able to keep track of all my data so that I can dump it later to validate that, hey, we did you know eight fasteners on this pipe and 10 fasteners on this other pipe, and per job number, I can keep track of that. Now, the Lion uh, .7 gun, or the Lion 70 gun, it will go up to 700 foot-pounds. It also uses a three-quarter inch chuck here and a larger uh, reactionary arm there. So go ahead and get my three quarter inch socket on here and I'll leave those that were torqued to 250 foot pounds already, but we'll turn on our gun here and you can even enter a lock code. So you can see it's in lock mode and I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my secret quadruple zero code. And it's already set to 700 foot pounds. So I'm gonna leave it there and so again, you'll see that with basically one finger, I 
I remembered something. I remember that yesterday I ruined those two bolts right there trying to torque it to 700 foot-pounds. So I'm going to back this off and we're going to do 500 foot-pounds. Okay, so now we're going to do 500 foot-pounds, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and back that one off. So hopefully we didn't ruin that, but now we'll apply 500 foot-pounds of force on that. So you see again, with very little action in my wrist or in my arm to actually tighten those. So now we'll do this one at 500 foot pounds as well. Just very easy to do with this gun. Now it's not the fastest thing in the world, obviously to, to get that over there. You know, it takes a second. But it's tightening all those to 500 foot pounds. So very easy to do that. Again, we could have added angle in there if we wanted to. Now, let's look at how we can actually do this without having any reactionary arm whatsoever. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this reactionary arm, off the smaller high torque gun. Just gotta push that button, pull the arm off. And this is their special high torque socket, uh, made in the USA. And you see there's an internal, internal socket, like 12 point socket in there as well as this external looks like a, a flower shape, if you will. And then you see the washer on here, which has that same type of shape. Now that's basically what it's using to counteract the force and it's all happening within this gun. So it's really cool, self-contained, but now we'll see that without any reactionary arm whatsoever, turn my gun on, 250 foot-pounds and make sure it's on there all the way and now when I pull the button very little feedback in the gun no reactionary arm on it whatsoever and it's tightening that to 250 foot-pounds So with this right here and their high torque line gun, you're able to tighten these nuts and bolts to the specified range without any feedback force at all into your hands, arms, wrist. Pretty cool system. Using these were a lot of fun uh, because you've, uh, again, you've got hardly any feedback going against you like you typically feel with an impact wrench. Now, with an impact wrench, you may not have a lot of force against your hand, but you're still feeling that vibration every time it hits, you're hearing it. Uh, so you, you've either got to wear some ear protection or your ears are ringing after you use it for a while. All of that's just a totally different feel than pulling the trigger on this and watching it go to town, especially when you put on their special socket with their special fasteners. And it's hard to even imagine that until you actually see it in action of how it can actually apply that force as well as apply that reactionary force all within this unit, which is a pretty cool system. Now, where do you need this? Obviously, you're not gonna see this in a typical wheel shop where you're you know, changing tires because these things run several thousand dollars. Again, High Torque looks at these as precision bolting systems, not as a torque wrench, not as an impact wrench, but a precision bolting system is exactly what they call them. So where you're gonna see these is like, you know, uh, nuclear plants, uh, food processing piping, uh, maybe even mining, things like that, where not only you have critical fasteners, but you need that validation to state that, hey, we've tightened these, here's the sheet, here's the spreadsheet, whatever, to A, either cover what you're required to do, or B, 
any even mitigate any possibilities of there being you know a potential liability on your part because you were the ones that tightened those faster so again just kind of you know covering yourself after you leave the job or from doing the job because now you've got all the data to back that up that hey we did tighten those fasteners to this many foot pounds and this is how many we did and so forth so really cool setup again it's not for everyone not for every job but check them out at high torque and it's h-y-t-o-r-c.com also keep track of us on instagram facebook and twitter and if you don't mind hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down, but if you don't mind, let us know in the comments why, why you're giving us the thumbs down. Also, if you don't mind, let us know in the comments where you might see a good fit for these. Have a great day and keep smiling.